are covering HR planning and within HR planning we will be discussing the fifth technique of HR demand forecasting which is predicting how many employees you might need for the changes that are about to come into your organization. Now we are doing the Delphi method and the Delphi method <coughs> relies heavily on the consensus of managers. So this happens with discussions, with questionnaires and after extensively working on whether we should hire these many people or what should be the ideal number of people being selected is determined here by this method. So the Delphi method was originally developed in the early 1950s at the Rand Corporation by Olaf Helmer and Norman Dalkey. And uh, yes, the aim of the Delphi method is to reach a consensus and this is done after several rounds of questions and discussions. So let's understand how the Delphi method works. So all the managers are given a questionnaire and they tell or they according to them whatever is the right number of people that should be hired um, they give that out now this number is now discussed within the HR managers so they can present their points they can argue they can say that okay I think your number is wrong and then after all the discussions and new information that is coming up in these discussions um, the questionnaire is done again now if the managers want to change their numbers or want to change their figures they can if they think that they made a right decision in the first time that is done now on the basis of this consensus by all the manager uh, the HR demand forecasting or the demand forecasting of HR is determined by the HR. So this is nothing, uh, amalgamation of questionnaires, uh, discussions by the managers and then reaching to a consensus by the HR. Thank you.